Grand Rising, Kings and Queens. It's 9 mil, and I'm back with another vlog. As you see, it's zero dark 30. Early. It's like 3 something in the morning. I want to say it's about 3.30 by now. I've been up so around like 3.15. Brush my teeth, wash my face, getting this day going. Kind of excited today, y'all. Can't even lie. Couldn't sleep good last night. That was because I was uncomfortable and because I was a little bit excited for the day. It's my first full day by myself on this young truck thing. Got a load to go pick up. I need to fuel up. I got about a hour, couple hours drive to go, go to this pickup. I think I'm gonna probably fuel up just before I get to the pickup. That way, once I get picked up, loaded, I should say, I can go straight on to the destination. It's a longer trip though, so I won't be able to finish it all in one day. Start it today, finish it all tomorrow. So I got three things I'm doing first time by myself. First time getting the load, getting loaded. First time fueling up. And the first time finding the uh, truck stop. So yeah, that's what it is, y'all. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for rocking with the boy. All right, see how tight that is coming up and through here, right? Yeah, your boy did that. So I came in that gate over there all the way through and then backed on up. But that's me sounding good. Sound like I know what I'm doing. I sure came and missed that whole entrance. I missed this whole building off the corner. I came in and see the address. So I drove up and realized that this was the exit only. So I'm like, damn. I had to go all the way down there. And good thing it was another warehouse with a big yard because I was able to turn around. And then I got over here, parked right here. And she was like, nah, you probably going to go down that street over there, come back around to go in this, this entrance to do what I did. You feel me? So, yeah. <laughs> I almost fucked up on my first day, y'all. But I didn't. Yeah. Had to get out and move some obstacles, move some of these, uh, pallets but i made it happen i made it happen <sighs> so yeah i just want to feel y'all in on my first my first pickup craziness craziness i need to do anything else let me see anyway i'll holler at y'all later man i just want to feel y'all in on that uh, stay with me i'll be back peace Hey, first time gassing up, fueling up, I should say. Yep, we got exclusive with Loves. We can only use Loves. If you use any other uh, fuel station, we got to get approval or whatever. So, that's what it is. Just want to feel y'all in. I mean, keep y'all part of the journey. It's a day of first for me. <laughs> I think I talked about that already. But, uh, come along. So, right there. I ain't never did this, so bear with me. I may be here a little while trying to figure it out. too long asking me about my driver code odometer reading all kind of shit so anyway y'all need to see all this so i'll pull this out later man save my battery and shit you know all right fam finally made it to a, a rest stop i got like two hours and 30 minutes of drive time left on the day three hours of uh, uh on duty time all in general so i found me a nice little spot to chill Doing my post trip inspection, I came across this leak. And I have 
have no idea where it's coming from. It's definitely coming from up here somewhere, but I don't see no other leakage, no other condensation. Maybe it's down in there somewhere, I can't really tell. So I sent the um, I sent the report to my people. I just told them I'll watch it, man, because they said they ain't know where it's coming from either. Maybe condensation of some sort, but from what? It's not slippery, so it's not oil. I don't know. We're going to watch it. But other than that, man, I got a couple tires that need to be filled up. Not as high as I would like them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hook this line up this line fill the tires up with the truck. So, if I never seen that done, check this out. This will be my first time having to do it by myself. Every other time I was with my trainers. air to it uh, we start this bad bad boy so I pushed the red one in because that was the red then we come over here and check the tires so I don't remember which one is which not that one it must be this one yep it's this one then you take this young boy do it. Put it right there on lay like that. Oh, let it do what it do. I think I got like three tires like this. I'll be here a while. I just want to show y'all that. Show y'all another first that I got today. This whole day is uh full of first. <laughs> Alright, I'll have later. Peace. checking the tread death you know just doing finishing of my post trip on the tires and I noticed this it definitely wasn't like that this morning this one not like that it's just kind of flat on the inside right there but yeah I was I pulled out the tire gauge to check the the tread depth, and that's when I noticed it. This one a little bit too flat on the inside and bumpy. Same thing, flat on the inside and bumpy, flat on the inside and bumpy. This one I think has been replaced. But yeah, I definitely didn't notice that this morning, so I don't think it was like that. I think that happened on my trip here. I'm probably 
probably about what 400 miles 500 miles even for the day we'll see maintenance was like you took that out of jacksonville like that like yeah it wasn't like that shit. i know it's still right now i felt bumpy on the road but i was in the construction zone so i thought maybe that's what it was then again maybe it was the tires First time, man. First time out on my own, man. I'm running all kind of issues. <laughs> I got two and a half hours left on my clock out there. Let me see. Yeah, two hours and 18 minutes left on my 14 hour clock. Now, right here at a Love's, it's a tire shop right there. But I know they wanted me to use their vendors or whatever, probably for a better price. But, hey, I'm here now, so. Stay tuned, man. I'll let you know what they say. How we gonna how we gonna fix the situation? Yeah, just my look. Anyway, I'll holler later. Peace. Hey, as you can see, I'm still out here living my best life. Feet all in the air and shit. Feel good outside. Go over 70 something degrees. Truck stop, chilling, dozing off, and I still ain't heard nothing back from my maintenance department. Still ain't heard nothing back, so I don't know what that means. Like I said, once I know something, y'all know something, but um, oh, my driving manager just got back to me. She said she's gonna hop at the maintenance and see what they say. Alright, so I ain't gonna finish it off just yet. I was about to finish off the vlog, but give it, let's give it a minute. Give, let's give it a minute. Uh, let's see, what time is it? It's 3.56 right now, so I'll time check it once I get back. So 